Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and today the Washington Commanders had another OTA session and the media was there and it looked like Jahan Dotson was dominating once again. Montez Sweat and Chase Young were back and much, much more. So we're going to talk about that in today's video, talk about some of the biggest takeaways, some of the biggest plays, injury updates, and a bunch of of practice highlights so make sure you guys watch the video subscribe if you guys are new hit that like button and notifications and hit that thanks button if you guys can now <clears throat> let's get right into the video and sorry for putting out putting it out late i had my graduation earlier today but let's start off with the highlights we have you know some john dotson we have some offensive linemen we have antonio gibson carson wentz and much much more so let's get into that right now So today was the second OTA session where the you know Washington Commanders media, the reporters were there. So there's a lot more clips and a lot more tweets about certain plays that happen. So definitely a big day in terms of that. So let's you know Jahan Dotson had another great day, but let's start off with the injury updates and kind of attendance. So Chase Young was there, but was rehabbing inside, but he did come out later onto the practice field in his street clothes, just hanging out with the guys, and that's, you know, that's a good thing, you know, you know, he doesn't have to do that, but he's doing that anyways, and, you know, definitely um, happy he's doing that, and Montez Sweat was back as well, both those guys were there yesterday, but, you know, they're here again as well, Chase Young still rehabbing, but I think when he was, you know, he came out to the practice field, I think Pete Haley said he did not have a you know, knee brace on and, you know, they talked about, you know, he talked to the media a little bit, to the media a little bit after, but, you know, he didn't give a specific timetable, but I, I think he'll be ready for the start of the season. <clears throat> and then some other guys, Logan Thomas, Samus Reyes, Chase Rulier, and Tyler Larson were all on the side field to start. And a lot of those guys are significant, you know, um, pieces to this team, you know, Logan Thomas and Chase Rulier and even Tyler Larson, like he's a good backup offensive lineman for us so hopefully those guys are back i think chase rulier will be back not sure about larson like i've heard the rehab has gone well but again that is a massive like i believe it was a achilles injury so that's a massive injury right there you know and that's a big guy as well so it might be hard for him to come back for it for the re you know for the start of the season because i think it happened did happen around the Panthers game, I believe, but who knows? Hopefully, he'll be back. I'm not sure what's going on with Samus Reyes. Logan Thomas, we'll see. We'll definitely get a better idea once training camp starts. So I strongly believe he'll start training camp on Pup. Probably same thing with uh, Chase Young, but maybe both of those guys don't start the season on Pup. I think Chase Young will not start the season on Pup. Logan Thomas has a chance to, but that's kind of the injury updates for you guys. So let's go over some of the big plays. So on the first pass of the team drills, Montez Sweat beat his man and got in Wentz's face before the QB dumped it off to Hodges. Uh, and that Hodges is one of the undrafted free agents, you know, tight ends that they sign. I believe he's like 6'8". So he's a big guy out of ASU. And a lot of the, you know, like Logan Paulson, he really, really likes him. You know, other guys as well. Um, Wentz just uh, zipped a pass to Jahan Dotson, who snagged it for a touchdown. A preview of what will hopefully um, be many, many scores this fall. Chase Young, just, we talked about that. He came onto the field. And he said Jahan Dotson's getting a lot of action today and making some really, really nice plays. And then Kendall Fuller got an interception and, you know, they celebrated. Not sure who it was off of. 
Could have been Hal, Heineke, or Wentz. William Jackson also almost had an interception, you know, on a pass that was targeted to Deami Brown. And yeah, so those are the big plays. Again, it's OTA, so nothing major. You know, it, this is similar to what training camp's gonna be, but training camp's obviously longer and, you know, more intense for sure, and it's usually 11 v 11. I think they were doing some 11 v 11 work, not sure, but I know they were doing some 9 v 9 work as well. And, you know, Ethan Cadeau from, you know, NBC Sports Washington, we, I already showed you guys this tweet, but he said, Carson Wentz just hit, just hit Jahan Dotson on a sick t uh, touchdown over the middle during nine on nines fit in perfectly between two defenders. So it looks like those two are developing a very good connection. So that is great to see right there. And you know that's you know that's one of the small benefits that Cars you know that with you know Terry McLaurin holding out that Jahan Dotson's gonna get more targets. And we know when Terry comes back he's gonna be all good. And he, you know these OTAs are really not important at all for him, but they're much, much important for guys like Jahan Dotson, Deami Brown, guys that are young or you know who didn't produce a lot last year. So in terms of Deami Brown. So definitely, definitely important for Jahan Dotson to get off to an early start. And it looks like you know, he's doing that. He's looking really good in OTAs. And again, it's only OTAs, and we do this all the time. We get hyped about certain players. But, you know, it looks like Jahan Dotson is doing pretty well. And I'm kind of getting, we, I mean, a lot of people said this when we drafted him, and I said it as well, kind of getting Terry vibes in terms of, like, his personality. Seems like a chill dude, especially on the mic. And kind of like Terry, seems like a nice guy team guy and then you also both these guys look really good in training or you know OTAs and then you know Terry in training camp and stuff as well um let's see so <clears throat> Matt Paris from the Washington Times some you know notes from you know the 11 v 11s he said that you know Benjamin St. Juice was in the slot which is new and was playing ahead of Danny Johnson on the first few snaps so that's interesting right there to have Benjamin St. Juice in the slot We'll see if he's able to do that. I mean, he's a bigger guy, like 6'3", I believe. He's got long arms, and, you know, that length usually is used on the outside. But they already got Kendall Fuller and William Jackson who play on the outside. So they're trying him out in the slot, seeing how he does, and maybe they can play him over Danny Johnson. Because I, I like Danny Johnson, but as a, as a backup, not a starter, no way. Um, let's see, he, you know, he, Matt Paris talked about what an amazing throw Wentz had to Dotson, so common theme, theme right there. I think these are all the same play, but, you know, it was very impressive according to these guys. And Deron Payne still sitting out the team drills. Um, Jamin Davis was playing with the first and second units. I don't know how Jamin, I mean, I guess they're just switching guys around because Ron Rivera, one thing I like that he does, he wants everyone to get some time with the starting unit. So that if there are injuries, these guys, this isn't their first time playing with the starters. So that could be the case. But, I mean, Jamin Davis should be playing with the starters every single snap. Because, I mean, you look at the linebacker room, it's Holcomb and Jamin Davis. And really, that's it besides maybe David Mayo and Kalik Hudson. And, you know, Sam Howell would have gotten blasted by two defenders on a play. And, and you know, Sadiq Charles got steamrolled. I heard the same thing last week when the media was there. Sadiq Charles was struggling. So hopefully it's just been these couple plays. But I don't know. Hopefully he's able to do better in, you know, the rest of OTAs and, you know, training camp and the start of the season. And we talked about this again. Every reporter um, talked about this play. So it, it had to be nice. Hopefully the commanders post it. We'll see if they do or not. And then some of the, I'll go over some of the quotes from, you know, the um, press conferences. Bob McCain said Cole Holcomb is one of the best linebackers I've ever played with. So, I mean, that's definitely a huge compliment. I mean, Bob McCain's been in the league for a few years now. So, you know, he's a veteran, five plus years. So, you know, that that's good, good to hear. And I'm excited to see what Cole Holcomb can do this year for the Washington Commanders. Let's see other stuff right there. See if we can see. Young said he spoke with uh, former teammate Nick Bosa, who recovered from a torn ACL. Said it was a daily grind, but he's making progress. And you guys can, you know, the press conferences I believe are on YouTube, and some of them are on Twitter as well. And Cosme said John Matsko is a very demanding man. 
He has a high standard for his players, and they all respect him for it. And yes, I, I love John Matsko. Hopefully, they can continue to, you know, he can continue to coach for the next couple of years, and Washington hopefully can take advantage of what, you know, he does for them. Let's see. Any other, pl you know, things? Turner said players like Cole Turner, big with a good catch radius, are easy targets for quarterbacks. And yeah, Cam Sims and Cole Turner, I think definitely could be, you know, red zone targets for Carson Wentz. And yeah, and more and more compliments about Jahan Dotson, Cole Turner as well. Scott Turner said Cole Turner has been great so far. And yeah, so that's kind of it. Nothing major again, but it's good to have the media out there giving us those clips and, you know, that insight that we want. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace, guys.